Good evening, everybody. Surprise, right? How's everybody doing? Hey, Everett. Oops, who's on with me? We're doing a late scope, but I'm getting it in today. We are doing a pop-up scope. Yep, doing it late on today. I've had a full day, but I wanted to touch bases with my Periscope family. Hey, Rhonda. Glad to see you on tonight. Hey, Amanda from Philadelphia. Hey, Portia from Chattanooga. Oh, good, you just made it. Are you going to Mark Moore's event tomorrow, Everett? Hey, Shanti from South Carolina. Who else is on? Give me your name and where you're scoping in from. Uh, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Hey, Monica. Happy belated birthday. I told you that on your Facebook. Not sure if you saw it. Thank you guys for the hearts. Who's on with me? Natasha from New Jersey. Tanya from Woodbridge, Virginia. Glad to see you. Oh, you're celebrating your birthday. Okay, glad to see you. Christine from Atlanta. Glad to have you on. Good, good, good. Everett, you should come hang out with me then in the morning at Mark Moore's event. Tracy from Memphis. Davra from Mississippi. Janet from CAG. Hey there, my, my CAG sister. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Hey, there's Michelle, my girl, my sis. Hey, Savannah uh, from New York. All right, you guys. Well, we'll wait while some others are coming on. But I just thought I'd do a pop-up scope and talk a little bit about uh, Periscope. How are you guys doing with Periscope? Is it helping you attract uh, new clients? Is it, is it helping you uh, get the word out about your business? Good teaching last night. Okay, good. I hope you um, are. Are you talking about the event at my church? All right, let me see. How are you guys using Periscope? Is it working for you? All right, just started using it. Periscope is a great tool to help you build your business. Anybody got questions about Periscope? It, it is expanding my reach. That's good, Everett. Good, good, good. Anybody kind of feel like there's some things that you probably could be doing? Uh, oh, you're talking about the teaching yesterday about the personalities. Awesome. Yes. Great, great, great. Consistency. Yep. Consistency is key for sure. Good. Well, tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, just kind of recapping some Periscope things. I know that um, I was in the middle of a day of Robin's replays. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but I'm going to talk a little bit about Periscope and how to use it and uh, just how it can help you build your business. I know we've all now kind of, you know, uh, we were all so excited about Periscope. And just as any social network, uh, when it's new, everybody jumps on board and uh, and then those that, you know, are like, you know, not as interested, um, they uh, kind of go by the wayside. How to handle replaying? Should we archive each one? Pros and cons. Um, let me say this. Are you using catch.me? Uh, catch.me at least will help you uh, keep your replays right um and then you can i i teach that you should put them over on youtube so people uh, some of your best ones uh people can go on youtube and see them how do i track more followers just starting good uh one of the first things you want to do is to uh make sure that you've got a profile picture um Let's see, I was just looking at your profile. Uh, you got a profile picture that draws people in. So I'm going to give you some more tips in just a second. But you're on the right scope for the information that you need to grow your Periscope following. But I was saying that with, you know, most popular social media networks, when you're first getting started, everybody's on the bandwagon, just trying to see if it works for them. Uh, would you separate business versus personal ones? I would, I want you to... Uh, definitely separate them, and I want you to use your respective Twitter accounts uh, for your business and for your personal. So, um, because you're building, you're building your platform, so yes. But um, 
I want you to uh, put some time in. Give it time. You know, Periscope just came out like in February. People kind of picked up on it over the summer, uh, even as late as August. And so it's just November. And so some people um, have kind of already fallen by the wayside, but not me. I am still doing Periscope Monday through Thursday. Um, and then I do pop-up scopes when I can. So a lot of people say to me, well, I don't really know what to scope about. Well, you have to scope about what you know. You have to scope about what you want people to know that you know, right? And so um, some of the keys to that. So let's just go right into my teaching. I got some notes here that I'll share with you about how to, um, you know, pimp out your profile. That's the number one key of building a successful Periscope following is to pimp out your profile. What I mean by that is make sure that you've got a profile name that does what, you guys? You know, I say it all the time. Your profile name has to make dollars and cents. That's right. It should be clear what it is you do uh, through your profile name. Or your profile name might be catchy. It might be connected to your product. Um, hey, Nate, good to see you, sir. Um, I saw all your wonderful pictures from Kojic. You and the first lady were doing it. God bless you. But your first, you know, your profile name should make dollars and cents. Um, Periscope on Empire last night. Um, hey, Lady Poe, glad to see you here. I'm on late, but I wanted to jump on because, you know, I'm not going to do it on Friday. So, um, so pimp out your profile. You know, make sure your um, name makes dollars and cents. I want you to make sure you use emojis. Emojis will help you stand out. Number three, I want you to be descriptive using keywords in your profile. And then number four, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to use a link that people can uh, connect with you off of Periscope. All right? So that's really the key to pimping out your Periscope profile. The success I've had with Periscope is because I have a place for people to go and land once they connect with me on Periscope. They can go to my website. Oh, she's saying 200 or more hearts. Oh my goodness, Lakeisha. Um, but they have a place where we can connect off of Periscope. So I love it when people say, oh, we miss you, Robin. Well, I'm not worried about losing them because I know I've got a place where they can go and land and connect with me and learn more about what it is I do or just get more great tips and strategies that I offer. They can go to uh, my website. Now, on my Periscope profile, I have Scope Queen. Uh, the, my website, scopequeen.com. That is the website where I sell my digital download. So, as you all know, uh, let me get off of here. Let's see here. I actually have, uh, yet yeah, we are almost at the Million Heart um, Club. I'm excited about that. Uh, let me see here. Scope Queen. All right. I have my website for my digital download for my uh, Periscope books. Um, I have two of them. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me make sure. Yep. I was pulling up the page. So Periscope uh, with a purpose and Periscope for profit. So I have a book for churches and a book for entrepreneurs. And so that's where my um, one of my revenue streams is that I sell ebooks. And so that's why I use that domain name. It helps me with my sales. It's a great product, easy read, so that, hey there, Pastor Jamal, so that people can learn more about Periscope. So if you're new to Periscope, go to scopequeen.com and you can get the digital download. Really inexpensive. It's $14.97 for each book or you can get both for $25. So on your page, you might put your website. You might put a link to a landing page. Um, so you've created two separate scopes and web pages. Well, I actually scope from my uh, Twitter handle, at Robin and Ware. I am a coach and so I am on... Uh, Periscope as a coach. I actually don't scope from my company, the Wear Agency, because uh, it's a little bit different uh, type of business. I work specifically with churches and pastors, and because they know me as my personal brand, 
uh, Robin and where it works. But if you're new and you're just starting out, uh, thank you, Tyresha. Um, I want you to uh, choose a username that works for your business. All right. So uh, that was the first part as to how you could pimp out your page. Again, uh, your name should make dollars and cents. Number two, use keywords in your profile so people, when they get to your page, they know what it is you do. Use keywords that make sense. Don't say, you know, um, the hipster. What is a hipster? You know, you should say somebody that, that provides relevant, uh, relevant trainings or relevant teachings. Don't say hipster. People don't know what that means. Um, and then, of course, use emojis that relate to what it is you do. So now three things that you can do so that you can attract followers. This is going to be really simple, you guys. And you may be doing some of these, but I want to make sure. Number one, include your Periscope um, URL in your email signature. Yes, set up your standard email signature. You know, your name, your, um, your address. Maybe it's got your uh, office number. But you want to put your Periscope address, and that's just periscope.tv forward slash, and then whatever your uh, handle is on Periscope. So mine is Robin M. Ware. So mine would be periscope.tv forward slash Robin M. Ware. Uh, number two is attach it to your social media pages. On Facebook, add it as a button on your Facebook when you're putting up posts. On Facebook, add it as a part of your post saying, connect with me on Periscope at 3 o'clock. Um, and then um, number three is to create a graphic that promotes when you're Periscoping and plaster that on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on your About.me page, just everywhere you can. And then, of course, um, I want you to... Um, Send it out in your e-blast. Hopefully you guys are creating email lists and you are sending out weekly or bi-monthly or annual, like once a month, uh, email blasts. And you could put it in your email blast for people to connect with you on Periscope. And then lastly, this is one of my favorites. You guys know I like to give money tips. This is my money tip. You can get an actual business card created that has nothing on it but your Periscope address. That's it. It should have follow me on Periscope and put your Periscope address. That's it. Don't worry about putting your, um, well, you can put your website, but don't worry about putting all that other information on it. This is specifically a business card to help you attract people to Periscope. Business cards are really inexpensive. You can get, you know, $2,500 for $29. So, Give that card out, kind of like a calling card, not necessarily use it as a business card, but use it as a calling card. So when you're at church, when you're at social events, when you're at athletic events, you can give it to people and tell them, you know, you're a coach or whatever it is you do, and they can connect with you on Periscope. So give them your card, give them your Periscope card. So those are my tips about uh, pimping out your Periscope profile and how you can attract followers to Periscope. So what are your questions? I hope that was good. Give me some hearts and let me know if that was good. Of course, if you're watching on replay, give me some hearts. We're making our way to 1 million. Good, good, good. Oh, good. You guys like those tips? Good. The cards are good. They're easy to do. Yes. Shantia, I saw all the likes you did on my Instagram. Thank you so much. Good, Rhonda. Fantastic info. Yep, easy stuff. Doesn't really cost you anything. Good ideas. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a real estate agent. How can I use it for my business? Periscope is um, my IG handle is Robin and Ware. All my social media, Robin and Ware. But for real estate agents, Periscope is a godsend. You could go into a house that you're showing and turn on Periscope and actually allow people to view the house. Tell them, you know, 2 p.m. on Monday, I will be showing uh, rental properties or, or homes for sale um, and go to that home and walk them through showing them on Periscope. And then you save it as a catch.me 
and then you can actually put it on the listing site. Maybe you've got a website for the homes that you're selling and you can put the catch.me link on that page. All right. So that people can see it, even if they don't see it live. Oh, yeah. Real estate agents are rocking Periscope. It is a great, great tool. All right. What other questions? What's our heart count, Lakeisha, so I can see? We're we making our way to one million. Good, good, good. Yes, you could do a private scope for someone that can't meet you at the house. You certainly can, because then you're you're speaking specifically to that one person. You know, Lisa, here's the bedroom. You know, here's the bathroom. Here's the entry. Uh, what else would you like to see? And then Lisa can type in the comment box. Go back to the entrance. Yes, so absolutely. It's a great tool to use the private scopes. Uh, for uh, real estate agents, even decorators. If you're a stylist, you can use it. Uh, you can show pieces that you put together for a potential client so that they then can go out and buy those items. Or maybe they've sent you a list of pictures uh, in their closet of items they have and you piece their outfits together for them so you could show them. Uh, yep, that was another money tip. Good. We're at 963,000 hearts. All right. Do you find church leaders use it? Yep, absolutely. A lot of church leaders use Periscope. Yep, I did a chef scope today judging a high school bake off. That's great. I love it. If you guys um, make products, you could show it in different colors. You could show your items. You know, well, here's the fabrics that I'm going to be using. Or, you know, here's the thread I'm going to be using. Uh, what's the deadline to pitch for P3? You have to be registered and you can do it um, before the end of this month. Yes. I want you guys to... Uh, just think out of the box with Periscope. It is a great, great tool. Even for teaching, I'll be speaking tomorrow uh, for Mark Moore at the Young Leaders Retreat or Young Leaders Conference. And so we might Periscope a little bit uh, so that you can experience his conference a little bit and also hear me live teaching. I know you hear me live all the time on Periscope, but this is going to give you an opportunity to experience me actually teaching at a workshop. Yep, Bishop Walker's doing great things with Periscope. Uh, oh, good, good, good. I'm glad. Make sure we take a picture. Uh, yep, he's coming. Yep, we will. Um, I'll do my best. That's why I got to get Everett to come and be with me tomorrow so he can Periscope for me. My team's going to be there selling product, but I need Everett. You can help me with um, Periscoping. And taking pictures. Remember, I always, you guys may not have heard me really kind of do that uh, teaching, but when you're speaking, how to make sure you um, uh, get the pictures you need so you can grow your base, grow your sphere of influence, is take pictures of you doing what you do. Yes. And the way you do that is to be your own paparazzi. So I have people strategically placed at my events, one or two people that take pictures. And so they get really good uh, action shots. <laughs> you are so funny. Yes, you just got booked by Robin Ware. You're so funny. Oh, Lord, Shantae, what's IKR? You all know I don't know slang. You got to help me out now. What's IKR? That's right, Monica. I know, right? Oh, wow, that's good. You guys are, I just learned something from you guys all the time. Right, Rhonda, tell him he's not going to be driving. Oh, so now it's funny, um, Dominique, because I don't know what IKR means. <laughs> you all know I don't know slang. Right, we're having a P3 slang class. That's right. 
Speaking of P3, of course, January 14th through 17th, you guys are going to be doing a um, Cyber Monday special. So make sure uh, you're ready to register if you haven't already on Cyber Monday. It is going to come and go all on Cyber Monday. Uh, oh, you said that's a real young person word. So what are you saying about me, Rhonda? I'm not a real young person. Age is nothing but a number. I'm just teasing you. But, um, yep. She said nothing. I'm 50. I'm about to be, sweetie. <laughs> anyway, uh, that Dominique. You guys, alrighty, so let me get myself together. Got to make sure everything is ready for tomorrow. Oh, you learned them from your children. That's cute. <clears throat> well, we're going to have a great time tomorrow at Young Leaders Retreat. It's at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So um, we'll scope. We'll try to scope a little bit during uh, the teaching, not the whole thing. You know, I don't believe in doing that when people have a conference that you have to pay and register for. I don't think you should scope to give it away for free. So I'll, I'll just do like a little snippet. All right. So thank you guys for joining my little pop-up scope tonight. I hope you learned a little something. We are making our way to 1 million. Again, I was saying uh, P3, January 14th through 17th. Going to do a registration special on Cyber Monday, but you got to register on Cyber Monday. So make sure you get your registration taken care of. Um, all right. Thank you, guys. Yep, you all have a good night as well. God bless you. Thanks for the hearts. Bye-bye. Wow, you guys are still giving hearts. Well, we tried to make our way to one million, so I'm going to hang on here and let you. Yes, I did see that email come through, uh, Pastor Jamal. So I'll um, get a date on my calendar. Thank you guys for getting those hearts in. Yep, we're going to make our way to one million. I heard the leaving and coming back doesn't work. The hearts won't count. Mm, that's not true. I've never heard that. If you log out and log back in, you start over. Unless they've done an update to change it, I have to do a little bit of research, Lakeisha. So I'll check into it. Right, they are always changing something. But I love that they uh, changed the fact that you can fast forward and rewind. I love that. I'll give them a hundred hearts for that. Okay, good. So that's what, about five more scopes, um, Pastor Jamal? We get 5,000 hearts per scope we only got five more scopes to go so maybe we'll get it um i gotta think what do i have going on this weekend oh i got a full weekend so i don't know if i'll be able to do some extra scopes thank you guys though for supporting my ordination and uh just the comments you guys have been so wonderful right let's have a scope party that's what we need to do we're going to get these hearts and be done with this. I promise you, we're not going to focus on hearts after this. 
You all know I'm not a numbers person anyway, unless I'm counting money. <laughs> I just figured out how to see my hearts. Good, good, good. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my 50th birthday, where I'm going. I want to go do a trip. So, um, some of my friends are really on me about what I'm going to do. So, I don't know. I got to figure it out, though, because it's coming right up. So, I'm going to go somewhere, I think, for a week. Treat myself. It's in January. I think I'm going to put it. Look, I'm going to speak it into existence. I want somebody to sponsor me to go to Dubai. That's where I want to go. <laughs> you guys are doing these hearts. Oh, my goodness. Now, Pastor Jamal, this thing says you've done like 3,000 hearts. You can't do that. They don't count. You can only do 500, then you have to log out and log back in. Okay. Oh, I missed the questions. I was looking at the heart count. Sorry. Let me see what it says.
Oh, I see the hearts going up, you guys. We're going to make our way to 900 and <clears throat> uh, we're at 967,000. Hey, uh, Marsha. Wow, we're at 968,000. This is so funny. I could see this. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll get back on, well, I don't know, I was going to say I'll get back on after scandal, but y'all know that might not happen. <laughs> I am probably going to be asleep after scandal. Yep, you can get more if you watch the replay, that's right. Thank you, Lady Poe. That's my administrator there. When you log out, it adds to your previous count. Maybe that's Periscope won't count them. I don't know. They're going up. Do we need another heart challenge? That's so funny. You guys are doing it though. We're at 969,000. You guys are amazing. We just, Marsha, they're just giving hearts now. We're trying to get to 1 million and, uh, you know, Lakeisha and Pastor Jamal, they're just adamant. They're going to do these hearts. 970,000. You are wowing me. That's right. Wow. That's what we do. We wow. We're wowers. That's right. Wow, 970,000. <laughs> Hearts for our favorite elder. You are too funny. You're our favorite elder. You all should hear Pastor Jamal. He preached from a phone yesterday, y'all, and tore the place up. Tore the place up. That's what I want to do. I'm going to grow up and be like him. As I always say, let the word do the work. He knows how to let the word do the work. Yeah, I'm striving. I'm trying to climb that mountain like, like him. Woo. I enjoy hearing you preach, sir. Always learn something. <laughs> you guys are too funny. He does scope. I think, he, well, you told me you've been um, busy with your job and all that. So you haven't been able to scope as much, but he scopes you guys. I scoped his sermon when he preached. All right, now work the word and watch the word work. I love it. Oh, he's a late night scoper. That's why I, I know. That's why I don't see him. Because y'all know I don't do late night. Oh, you saw it this morning. Yeah, that's true. We love the replays. Ha, 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 ha. 
Me too, Lady Poe. I should be in bed. Getting ready to watch Scandal. We're going to get to 975,000, then I'm going to log off. So we're at 973,000. We're on our way, 974,000. I know Scandal is boring. I haven't even watched the last two weeks. Um, they're on DVR. Uh, How to Get Away with Murder. Is that good? They kind of got off into a bunch of uh, the homosexual stuff. I didn't want to watch all that. All right, we're almost at 975,000. 9747. Let's see, 9748. 9749. All right. And we are at 975,000. We did it, you guys. Um, so we're at 975,000. So now, Pastor Jamal, we're at 25,000 before we hit. The one million mark. Uh oh, she's saying wait. <laughs> I see. I see them coming through. Wow, you guys are doing it. 975,009. So we're almost at 976,000. I know your fingers ought to be tired. All right, you guys, we are going to log off. So you can do it on the replay, but I don't want you guys to try to do this tonight. Now, we're going to pass 1 million before the weekend. I'm tired of this. Right? I know my schedule last week. Was it last week, you guys, I was in Nashville? I kind of lost the whole week there. So, um, oh, yeah, next week's Thanksgiving. So, I'll have a lighter week. <coughs> Excuse me. So, all right. Good night, you guys. But I'll be on. Uh, we'll scope a little bit in the morning while I'm speaking at that event, too. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? All right, so Lady Poe, you log off. Jamal, you log off. Yep. We're going to get this done. Zendaya. Now, you know, I, I know who that little girl is, but I don't know anything about her music. All right, good night. Good night, good night, good night. <laughs> good 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 wow you guys did it why would yeah why would pastor jamal be back <laughs> i saw that too but you know he does have that android and that android you can hit it anywhere and i will give him that so you ought to give me another 500 hertz for just admitting that the android does do a little something i like Yeah, he could just sit there and watch TV and tap, tap, tap. You gave 10000 You can't give 10000 Okay, good. <laughs> Oh, from the photo shoot. I want to see it. I said I was going to knock you out if you put pictures up. I saw you putting pictures up with your phone. I ain't really want you to do that. So you better not put pictures up from the shoot, sir. Oh, so you got... Oh, my goodness gracious. You 
guys are too much. You're my lifers, right? My wowers that are lifers. Oh, come on now. You better preach. Talk about the remnant. Woo, there we go. 977,000. Wow. But you guys have done about 20,000 hearts, right? Because I think we were at 960 or 50 something. I don't know. Wow. I feel guilty. I'm like, can I get on? I need another account to get on so I can help you. But uh, you guys are something. 978,000. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you did. You let your fingers do the walking. Hey, Nisi. Glad to see you. We're trying to make our way to one million. Yep. I did teach you. I know I don't just do the give me hearts thing. I did teach. But now we're wrapping up and we're just trying to get our way to one million. So we're at 978,000 hearts. Thank you, guys. So we'll be back on tomorrow. You watch the replay. You can give hearts. Oh, she's come and gone a few times. Okay, all right. Good. You know, I felt a little funny. You know, because I don't, I don't do that. Wow, it's your third time back, girl. You are so sweet. 978,000 hearts. Look, you know, um, Lakeisha is my administrator. She's, she's writing it down in her little notebook. Who's doing hearts and who's not? <laughs> she's going to tell us at P3. Who, who who was the heart person and who wasn't? Lady Poe, we need to talk. Make sure we talk Monday because we need to talk about your um, airline ticket and all that good stuff. <laughs> Ooh, you guys, 978,000. Won't he do it? I know, right? I know that's right. I keep telling y'all Tamar's filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, that girl knows how to call on him. Y'all see my little laser? Getting ready for my presentation on tomorrow. Y'all see that? I have my own. So that way I never have to worry about if the people are prepared. I'm prepared. Yep. I 
All right, you guys, we are at 979,600 hearts. We are almost at 980,000, you guys. Okay, we're going to stop. We're going to stop. We get to 980,000. It's as if y'all called in some more prayer warriors. How am I feeling? I feel great. Thank you. Hey, Lady Cook, or are you back in in again? You've already been on. <laughs> There's Lady Taisha, y'all. She's one of my team Robins. It's one of my assistants. Y'all, we did it. 980,000 hearts. Woo. You guys have worked those fingers to the bones tonight. Yes. I'm back on. I thought you. <laughs> I know, right? We're trying to get these hearts so we could be done with this, okay? I told him, you know, I'm, I'm not into counting. I'm into quality, not quantity. Only thing I want to count is money. Yeah, Lady Poe, you have to soak your fingers tonight. Tell Bay I'm sorry because he ain't going to get no neck massage tonight. Your little fingers are worn out. <laughs> they said, Lady Poet, that you're doing. It is her doing. Her and uh, Pastor Jamal. <laughs> that is so awful. Look, uh, Taisha says she just jumped on to give some hearts. <laughs> that girl is an administrator extraordinaire. Taisha, I told him I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my birthday. So I'm thinking I'm going to, she said, I approve this mission. I'm going to um, do a Go Travel Me account. We all agreed, stop blaming Lady Poe. <laughs> I'm going to do a Go Travel Me account. Then the saints can so seed into that for all the scopes they've enjoyed. To send me on a big trip for my 50th birthday to Dubai. I hope I get to Dubai and not DeKalb County. How about that? Oh, you're so sweet. Look, I hope I get to Dubai and not Decatur. <laughs> I got to get beyond Decatur. <laughs> Ooh. Look at Nisi back again. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay, um, Lakeisha, I told you. <laughs> Lakeisha, do you remember that, that night that I laughed like the whole time? <laughs> Woo, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, Shante, you were on with us that night. Oh my God, that was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> oh, Nisi was on with us too. Right, and Kim is not here. <laughs> Woo. Well, at least we're just doing hearts and I'm not talking about anything. Because remember, I was saying things that were just so funny. Oh gosh, it was funny. It absolutely was funny. <laughs> I still have to run an errand tonight, you guys. I was crying. It was I was laughing so hard. That we did not put up on YouTube. That one. Oh my goodness. You guys, we are at nine hundred and eighty two thousand hearts. Don't try to catch up on all those scopes, Pastor Jamal. The ones this week were really good, though, on um, mastering other people's personalities. I will say that. I always enjoy teaching those anyway, so those were good scopes. Look at Lady Poe back in again.
I do coach. Yes, robinandwear.com. That's where you can see all my coaching information. How are you doing tonight? It's Nay. Good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, we are finishing off this heart thing. We've been working on these hearts for weeks, but I've been traveling a lot and haven't had my consistent scope. So we should have been at a million, but we're going to finish it off, it looks like, within the next 24 hours. Yeah, we're at 982,000 hearts. Uh, So what is that? 18,000 to go? Yep. We're going to get there. So welcome, It's Nay. Where are you from, It's Nay? Where are you scoping in from? what she just wrote just crazy just crazy well welcome from baltimore yep i like visiting baltimore i was up there a month or so ago that lady poe right she needs to go to sleep there you go good she needs to go to sleep we're at nine hundred and eighty three thousand. Oh, it's 8.55, almost time for, what is first? Is it scandal or how to get away with murder? I don't even know. <laughs> Come on, girl, now you preaching. <laughs> oh, scandals first. I wish I could really tell you how I feel about all those. Well, let me, let me keep it to myself, but we'll talk about it at P3. I feel some kind of way about a professional black woman having to do some of the things they portray, they have her portray. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, 984,000, you guys. You're going to let me wake up in the morning to a big old gift of one million hearts so we could be done. When I tell you we're not going to talk about hearts after this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Lady Poe, you are too much. Yeah, look. All right, 980. It was either that or a Krispy Kreme donut. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, Teresita, how are you? Glad to have you on. I taught a little bit earlier, and now we're just finishing up with some hearts. We are in the heart ministry tonight. Are you in the DMV area? I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. Is Carrie still married? Yes. Yes, she is. We are at 984,000 and 985,000. We made it. 985, you guys. So, all right. That means we are what? Just 15,000 away from 1 million hearts. Yeah, she said carry on scandal. Girl, Shante, you are too much. Talking about weight. 
We're going to need popcorn. We're going to need to sit here and start eating popcorn. You guys are too much. Right. The replay. You could do the hearts. DJ Vince Da Vinci. Welcome. Not really teaching anything right now. We are just sharing love by doing hearts. Oh, Nate Jefferson is back. Hey, hey, brother. Yeah, y'all go look at his Instagram. His wife was clean to the hilt for the Koji convention. Oh, I got my 500. That's good. I'm not really teaching it. We're trying to get to these 1 million hearts. So the saints were, were on it. Okay, good. We had 985,000. So, <laughs> yeah, we're giving a heart offering. They're sowing seed. Oh, good. Let me see how many hearts you have, Nate. How come I haven't seen you on here? Oh, you are. You're at 857,000. That's great. <laughs> I have to follow you. Okay, I just followed you, Nate. Thank you, Rhonda. Okay, you guys, we're going to log off. 985,000. You guys have blessed me tremendously. So, we will do something on to model. All right? Thank you, guys. Now, I mean it this time. Goodbye. Lady Poe, hang up. Get, close out. Hit the X. Pastor Jamal, hit the X. Log off. Shantae, log off. <laughs> hey, Pastor Mark Burns, we're logging off, sir. But glad to have you join us, even if it's just for a quick time to say goodbye. Thank you guys for the hearts. Oh, thank you so much. You are so kind. We'll be back on tomorrow, though, while I'm speaking at the Young Leaders Conference here in Atlanta. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.